Nowadays, everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lid. Ooh, we're sending you Jimmy Sweet Potatoes, and we're back again with the Sunday Show, rounding up all your DC EU news, gossip, rumours. Now, speaking of rumours, first of all, I'm going to start with an apology. Last week's show, I covered a story about Ben Affleck signing a free picture deal for a Matt Reeves trilogy of Batman films. Now, unfortunately, but thanks to our friends at BatmanNews.com, they have exposed this story as bullshit, as Ben Affleck has not yet signed a free picture deal or any sort of further contract for his appearances in any DC movies. Have no fear, Ben Affleck is not going anywhere, but he's just he hasn't signed anything. Just I saw the news, and as a YouTuber, you've got to pounce on these opportunities. I should have checked my sources first of all. I do apologise if it felt a little bit clickbaity, but I saw the news, and I couldn't help but get myself a little bit moist. Anyway, on with the Sunday show, and let's kick it off, as always, with some quick bits. Batman gets a new photo for Justice League. Justice League merchandise images come out, accompanied with a new promo image. Kiersey Clemens praises a sick Irish West introduction, stating, I finished all my parts with Zach. I know the parts that I did introducing Irish are fucking sick. Well, there you are. Now, first up on the show today, I want to talk about Shazam. Now, next movie up in front of the cameras for the DCEU will be David Sandberg's Shazam movie. Apparently starting production early 2018 for an April 2019 release date. Now, it appears that he might be taking this movie in a possibly worrying direction. Whilst talking to Toronto Sun about his most recent film, Annabelle Creation, he had this to say. In terms of what people can expect, I think this will be one of the more fun and light-hearted movies so far in the DCEU. It certainly will be a departure. <laughs> what? What DC EU fan has asked for a departure in direction? I don't send it around a kid that can transform into a superhero, blah blah blah. But if, if this descends into a balloons and rainbows, Marvel fest, this will be the last you'll hear from me on the subject. I'd much rather hear some news about Nightwing or something. Speaking of Nightwing, director of upcoming DC EU entry Nightwing, Chris McKay, revealed via Twitter why we didn't hear anything about the movie at this year's Comic-Con. He was asked, has anybody asked Chris McKay why Nightwing wasn't featured on the DC slate at the San Diego Comic-Con? Chris McKay replied, I think you just did, Adam. I've turned down films because they were backed into a release date. It made it difficult to make a great film. This isn't going to be like that. I want this movie to blow you away. We need time to get it right. Yes. That's how you do it. Take your time, do it right, make sure it fits in nicely with what Matt Reeves is going to be doing for the Batman movie. It's, it's nice. It's, it's just it's moist. It's fucking moist. Now, next up for the show, um, as well as obviously doing YouTube videos, I like to make funny little skits. Sometimes they'll make their way into my intros for this show. But um, I've put together a little spoof or a, a little homage to Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And the scene in particular I'm going to be doing today was the bathtub scene between Clark Kent and Lois Lane. I've done it pretty much just to see if I could do it. Now, I have to give a special little mention to the person that gave me a kick up the arrows to get me to actually do it. And that is Kalella Kent. Thanks very much. This is going to be totally embarrassing and it's all your fault. Anyway, check it out. See what you think. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below if you've got any requests. Um, I've had a few already for the, the next one. So, But let's see what you think. Let me know down below in the comment section. Check it out. Hey. Hey. I was going to cook. Surprise you. They held hearings about what happened. They were saying, I don't care. I don't care what they're saying. The woman I love could have been blown up or shot. Well, think about what did happen. I didn't kill those men, if that's what they think. You know, if that's what they're saying. No. I'm saying I want to understand what happened. I'm saying thank you for saving my life. I'm saying, there's a cost. I just don't know if it's possible. I don't know if what's possible. For you to love me and be you. Make me rise on the rose bit. Clark! <laughs> you flood the apartment. <laughs> Well, there you go, sorry, it's a little bit cringe, but let me know if you want to see more. And finally, on Sunday show this week, 
I want to have a little special mention to a fellow tuber. She and indeed her channel goes by the name of Emily Ball. That's just DC uploads, uh, you know, from this animated universe, from the DC Extended Universe, just little clips. If you're a fan of DC anything, go check it out. Go check out her channel. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box down the bottom. Well, there you go. I've been Sweet Potatoes. Thanks very much for tuning in this week, guys and girls. If you've enjoyed the video and you're new here, hit the subscribe button down the bottom. And if you want to get notified, hit the taco bell button. And that way you'll find out every time I drop a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,